Wii Zero Kata Hajimero Isekai Sekatsu is licensed and produced by Media Factory, TV Tokyo and Studio White Fox, based on a light novel by Tape Nagatsuki. Please support the official release. Hello there YouTube Jack here with more ReZero episode, I actually lost count, 18? Is it? I think it is. So yeah, last time, I don't know what happened. I, I know what I saw happening, but I have no idea what really happened. I have no idea if Emilia is dead, or if she isn't, because if she is, then Silver is gonna die too. And we also saw a bit of a new side from Betty there, so maybe she's gonna be more important later, sort of. Like, I mean, with the whole not wanting to see Zubiru die being really kind of kind, ignoring the fact that she didn't really seem to be bothered by Amelia appearing dead. So yeah, that's that. And of course, the witch card again reappearing with the guy with the name. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a name. Amazing, I know, right? And Subaru seeing the hand. I really want to know what's up with Subaru. Like, he has the witch scent. This is something I understand with the whole returning by death. And, but what's with the hands? Why can't he see them? What's, what is with Subaru, basically? <laughs> and of course, Puck at the end. Not in giant monster form. So, meh. Anyway, I've waited long enough for this, so here we go, episode 18, I hope. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> TV Tokyo, once again, forever haunting me. EPIC! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, so he is turning into a giant monster. Oh no, it's just the hands. Oh, so these were the hands he used back with Rem too. So did Subito see them back then too? <laughs> okay, I'm hyped. Awesome. Bloody awesome. And he also mentioned Satila. So, the Jealous Witch, I would assume. Ah. Wow, he even managed to cry blood. The way he always bites his fingers is like, yeah. So he knows the witch is called, it would seem. What do you mean he quit while he was ahead? Yeah, please do have a talk. Okay, promise what? So she is dead, I guess. Yeah, understandable sin, but, you know, he kind of did it trying to avoid it. Okay. So she really is dead. And that's the white fog or something? Ah, there he goes. 
Oh, gluttony. Who who's laughing? Yeah, but who what Oh hey! Yep, I, I, I'm creeped out. Okay, all right. Thank you. Damn it, stop it already. So here we go once again. That's a cute line. It's really awful for him too. It's interesting though because his body should be in the exact same condition. So I guess he's just really worn down mentally. Like no shit dude. So what are they gonna try this time? What are you gonna do? Like in this kind of scenarios I usually think about what I would do but I have no bloody idea. Ah, uh, god damn it, need a moment. I need a short moment to process what just the hell happened. So Emilia died, for real, okay? I wasn't so sure at the end of the last, uh, the end of the last episode, since it was a bit vague. I mean, you could say it was obvious enough in hindsight, sort of with the crystal for puck breaking or something. But I was sort of meh. Which also means, it is fact, that those creepy ass hands can just flat out kill someone. What the fuck? And then there's Puck, who can just sort of massacre slaughter the whole witch cult people. And it just gets to me whenever things reset, like we go from this, this complete panic and a mess of a situation to everything's calm and normal. Like, Subaru isn't calm, but everyone else is. And he keeps seeing Ren die or knowing Ren dies. I said Ren just now. And then gets back and she just greets him like nothing happened. This is awful. Damn it all. And always nobody knows except him. And I have no idea how, how I would respond to this situation. This is kind of new ground for me. Yes, I'm an arrogant asshole that kind of way that I usually think I'm above. <laughs> By having a vague idea how I would act, but no, this time around, no bloody clue. Not a bit of an idea. Like as I said before, he could use his better understanding of the situation now for better negotiations with the candidates, but other than that, I'm lost. So how are you gonna explain this away? I think you have given up on the idea of telling people about returning by death. Oh, okay. You did? You just stay here? So you decided to just stay or something? I kind of love how he's calm about it, but I don't trust the calmness. This is like the calm was before the storm. Okay. So he's running away. <laughs> I 
Okay. Fair enough. I feel so sorry for him. So God damn sorry. Why not though? Like why can't you stay? Yeah, Rem kind of killed him twice, so... I know that sort of running away would be best for her survival, but... Damn it. You know she's not gonna go along with that just like that. It's totally understandable from his perspective, but from her, this is like the most sudden change of character ever! Ah! They don't just smile. You did? Yeah. What was Karalagi again? Okay, she really thought it through, huh? <laughs> Shop for what? God damn it, the Lord of Trust reports out to him! Okay, she really thought far ahead. Just how far have you thought this through, you goddamn made you? Ah! 
this is just wrong in so many ways. Here, yeah, Subaru is the one who actually has multiple lives, but Ram tells it as if she has already lived through all of it. Like, seriously. <laughs> but he doesn't want a life. Uh, at least not with a smile. He's running away from the danger, sadness. Oh, oh darn. <laughs> yeah, but he can't. <laughs> Yeah, easy for you to say. Uh, I can feel my heartbeat. I'm so glad they gave a good reason for why he can't explain things to them. Have you given up or you just want to give up? Yeah, but you're alone in hating yourself. Not much with your life, I guess.
You've done so much, though. I think you have more character than most anime characters I have ever seen. Embarrassed for what? You know, this is not the speech of someone who has given up, I'd say. More like someone who wish he could just give up. You think she somehow practiced that sort of confession she is doing right now? Like you can't come up with that on the spot, can you? I would say not. Damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. When have you ever run away? That sure is a long flock of birds. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I 
the god and beautiful music! Ah! Stop being so awesome! In fact, no, don't. Yeah, but that's not what he's talking about. So go show them then. Let's start from zero. <laughs> That morning was so long ago for him that he might just have forgotten. You know, this episode really was just them talking most of the time, wasn't it? Yep, totally. <laughs> Your once in a lifetime proposal, huh? Win. So many levels of win. <laughs> From zero. <sighs> I didn't cry. That's a win. I'm awesome. 
I'm manly. I did not cry. And once the camera is off, I'm gonna cry like a bitch. So, with that said, we finally dropped the title. 80 episodes in. They did not wait till the end, but it also didn't just throw it in at the beginning. Especially since you could just easily interpret the title as him restarting whenever he, well, restarts, so no. It is him restarting now, after having given up, or trying to give up, I don't know even. This episode was 20 minutes just them talking, and it was awesome. <laughs> like, I didn't feel like I was just sitting here for 20 minutes listening to them. It felt like 5 minutes. And I think this was the most quiet I've ever been throughout an episode. How could I interrupt them? <laughs> ah. And Rem confessed, that's kind of a shame that she, that she got rejected though. So obvious, but still a shame. And I realized kind of that there really isn't a lot of Emilia in this anime, is there? Like, sure, whatever Subaru does kinda is for and around Emilia, but she herself doesn't appear all that much, does she? Like, in the beginning, the very first time he arrived, sure, all the time. But then he avoided her, no, but he sort of scared her away by calling her Satila, which is her own fault for introducing her stuff like that, but then next time around he avoided her or something? I don't even remember exactly right now. And then he got in the mansion where it was more Ram and Ram, which is now too, so... Yeah, <laughs> not a lot of Amelia is there. God fucking damn it. Ugh, so much. And just that stupid talk. <sighs> I'm 32 episode, uh, 32 episode, 32 minutes in already. <sighs> you know, anime of the year for me. I cannot see anything out doing this in the foreseeable future. But I don't even remember anything that measures up to this. And I've seen my fair share of animes. Alright. I mean, this is just beautiful. He keeps trying, he keeps failing and all the emotions and character phase that he goes through. At the beginning he's ignorant, he then he becomes arrogant, heroic, everything, and it just matches. The times he's desperate, like this is like this is the second time if you remember when in the mansion where he kept dying he actually locked himself up in the library for the three days or something. Before Ram died. The first time around. And all that it's just... Ah! Perfect, like... I'm done. Words no longer working. So yep, yeah, I'm gonna go cry now. That will be all for now. Until the next time around. This is the first time I'm glad that I don't have a fully functioning HD camera. So, until next time, see you then. Bye, peace out.